Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. So today we have another one in 170 second scale. This one is by JC Wings. It is a helicopter from the Slovakian Air Force. It is the Milmai or MI-17 hip. And this one is from the 1st Training and Search and Rescue Squadron. And uh, the MI-17 is from the MI-8 family of helicopters. It's a, essentially a export version of the MI-8 that's in the Russian um, armed services with uh, improved engines and other minor um, modifications to suit the export market. Uh, this, as I said, aircraft is from the first um, training and search and rescue squadron, which is, it fields approximately nine of these aircraft in that unit. So we'll open it up. It is the typical JC Wings deal. I picked this up secondhand, actually, um, for $120. Uh, looks brand new in the packet. The, the guy said he wasn't displaying it or anything like that. So it does look all nice and neat in there. There is a limited run of 600 as by that little collector card that is pretty common. I can see a little stand, so that is a little bonus. But JC Wings usually don't come with a stand enclosed in the actual each of their models. So what we'll do is we'll get this out of the box and have a real good look at it. So this is it out of the box and uh, we'll just move that out of the way. It does come with, uh, does come with the traditional hard stock cardboard base that these JC wings do come with if and this is a helicopter one which is pretty cool look it's a bit different to the ones that we normally have and uh it does come with this little um oh well i did get this with the stand so this is the JC wing stands that you can buy separately uh, and usually well if you do want one you do have to buy these separately but what we'll do is get stuck into the actual model itself right here and in the blister pack it does look nice and neat in there you've got the uh, blades there for the rotor and the collector card and a little a ladder by the looks of it if you want to put it to the side of the aircraft and we will get that aircraft out right now take that lid off there and put that to the side and as i said we'll grab that little card out and underneath the card it does have a little set of instructions as you can see there about the placement of everything that you need to do. And this is the little card that does come with it. As I said, 600, run a 600. So if you buy nine of these, you, you actually have as many as the Slovakian Air Force do field. So, <laughs> and just does have some little specifications on the back of the card. It's, these are a pretty cool looking thing. It's just a little novel thing to have with these uh, little models. And uh, we'll get the blades out and have a little look first. And that is the blade. So obviously those ends will go into their specific holes. It should slot all straight in nicely. And we will get the little ladder out you can see that still in the baggie there and then there's a little step ladder that you can put onto the side of the aircraft and we will grab this aircraft out really gently <laughs> and we will move this out of the way and it is not a tiny helicopter i don't know if you guys have recall the uh the easy model one that I did, and the, the colours on this is quite quite nice. It is a bright with that bright yellow there. I suppose well that helps with the uh, search and rescue uh, function that it is for. So the hello helicopter can be seen, but it does does still sport some camouflage scheme on there, and it does it does look really nice. This door does look like it does open, which it, yeah it does. And if you can see in there, hopefully you can. It's really hard. I'll take some close up photos. So you can see, so when you look at the slideshow, you'll be able to see a bit better. And it does have some interior detail. The actual details, it, it is really well done. I think this is a fantastic sort of rendition. This is really nice. The colour of it doesn't make it bad either. I think these, these colours are really nice on this helicopter. The uh, tail rotor does spin nice and easy. Uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, this helicopter. That does spin nice and easy. We'll have a little look underneath. And as you can see, the underneath details run down there. It's not too bad. It does, it does sort of have a prominent line through there, the, the, the join, which, um, you know, may be a little bit sort of uh, annoying for some. But if you can get past that little uh, issue, it's the same on the top here. You can sort of... It's okay on the darker sort of areas, but it really does stand out on the lighter areas of the, the aircraft. You can sort of see a join here and there, but yeah, I think this is not really nice. And a little bit of an extra feature, these open up. How cool is that? Try and have a little look in there. I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you, see if we can get in there and have a look at some inside details. It's pretty cool. 
we'll just close that up again and that is that is a really it's it's not a bad looking unit at all i think this looks pretty cool but it's not complete is it so what we'll do is we'll uh, chuck some blades on this and we'll check it out all kitted out properly so here we have it all kitted out it does come up a treat this helicopter is not small as you can see with my sausage fingers it is uh, quite a large aircraft and everything spins nicely uh, I think it is a real real cool looking aircraft for sure this uh, helicopter will look awesome on your shelf and it is quite imposing it is a bit of a beast this thing um, and I think you will love it uh, if you do get your hands on one of these for sure uh, of course you know I think it's nice. These are all my my opinions. You might think it's absolute garbage, but um, you know that's why I'm doing these videos so you can make the choice yourself. Uh, for me, I like it. I think it's pretty cool for sure. I don't have a problem whatsoever with it at all. And the little features where these doors open, like that door and the rear cargo door opens as well, and you can you know have a little look in the interior and stuff like that. I reckon that ad is pretty cool as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll just chuck this on the deck before I actually break something off it with my fingers and uh, we'll just plonk that down here and uh... So here it is. I reckon it's a pretty good looking unit. You will enjoy it if you can get your hands on one It is by uh, JC wings. It is 170 second scale. It is from the Slovakian Air Force and it is from their first training and SAR squadron, which is obviously uh, search and rescue and I do think this is a nice looking unit and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys do too. And if you do, hey, throw us a bit of a like, spare those couple of seconds. And uh, if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so as well. As I said, I grabbed this second hand and it was only 120 bucks and that was including the delivery to me as well. So that wasn't a, a bad price, especially for the size of this aircraft. And uh, what I will do is I'll do the usual. I'll take some happy snaps of this so you can see a few interior shots and stuff like that. Hopefully I can get some good views of that and you can check that out as well. Um, once again, I thank you so much for spending the time watching another one of our videos. I hope you really did enjoy it. Thanks again. Cheers, guys.